No, I'm not going anywhere. But since this video is being released on the eve of WWDC 2025, I thought it would be a great time to share a quick recap of what I created since the last dub dub, in case you missed any of my weekly posts. My name's Stuart Lynch, and it's been a busy year as always. I released over 50 new videos, and instead of listing them here in the order that they came out, I've grouped them by category for this review. Shortly after WWDC, I started experimenting with mesh gradients and released a free open source multi platform app. And it lets you create and export mesh gradient backgrounds for both desktop and mobile home screens. And then throughout June and July, while releasing videos on various topics, I also explored many of the new features presented at WWDC 24. And this has led to a series of in depth videos where I dove deeply into specific topics. And much of what I shared came from reading other developer blogs and studying Apple's documentation in detail. Before and after WWDC coverage, I returned to my deeper understanding series, tackling existing APIs and concepts that I wanted to understand better myself with the goal of helping you deepen your understanding too. I also released a free seven part series called My Tallies, and it focused on app intents, interactive widgets, series shortcuts, and watch kit. The app includes a watch OS target, so it runs both on the iPhone and the Apple Watch. And then scattered among all of these videos were what I call technique videos, short, focused explorations on practical and sometimes creative solutions that you can integrate into your own projects. And then to close out the year, I began a new series on creating a reusable SF symbol picker Swift package. And this series is ongoing and it'll be completed after WWDC. On a lighter note, I had some fun by submitting one of my blog posts to Notebook LM to create an AI generated podcast. The result sounded eerily like two people discussing my journey. Now, a personal highlight for me this year was finally speaking at Deep Dish Swift after having to cancel last minute the previous year due to COVID. If you ever get a chance to attend a conference like this, I highly recommend it. The energy and the inspiration are unmatched. In addition to all of that YouTube content, I've also developed a free Mac app that lets you search and view all of my videos, not just the ones from the past year. And it includes direct links to the videos, starter projects, and completed source code. And it offers you a much better experience than on YouTube. I also created a custom chat GPT trained on the transcripts of all my videos, right up to date. But because there's a limit to how many files I can include, I'll only be able to update it once or twice a year. But it's a great tool for finding code examples and clear answers on topics that I've covered. This year, I also started a weekly newsletter. And you can subscribe via the link in the description to get coding tips, video updates, and personal reflections right in your inbox. Now, all the content that I've mentioned so far is completely free, but I also launched my first paid course, a multi target app for macOS, iOS, and watchOS. And it's designed to guide you through a wide range of frameworks and APIs using best practices. I've kept the price as low as possible to make it widely accessible. Now, as always, I'm really excited about what WWDC 2025 will bring and plan to continue my weekly videos throughout the year. I create these videos as much for myself as I do for others. They're my developer notebook and journal. Combined with the channel listing app and the custom GPT, they help me quickly revisit and reinforce the things that I've learned. My sincere hope is that my work has helped you too. Keep coding.